Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Cannabis. Today we are going to learn how to make an eggs benedict with a THC infused hollandaise sauce and a waxed potato. I'd also like to thank Lowered Aliens for helping us supply some of our product. And I'd also like to thank Solid Sullivan 710. All organic, non-toxic, butane free. Check them out. Check them out on Instagram at Solid Sullivan 710 or order a case. Check it out yourself at everythingextractions.com. All right. Let's get cooking. Things we're gonna need for this one. Again, we're gonna need our double broiler, saute pan, another pot of simmering water with a little bit of white vinegar in there. We're gonna be poaching our eggs. Two cups of melted butter, your cannabis butter preferred, but regular butter if you don't wanna make a THC infused. I'm gonna use five egg yolks for that. We're gonna use a lemon with some lemon zest, a little bit of wax, some ham, a couple English muffins, and some potatoes. So let's get going with our hollandaise sauce. What is this hollandaise sauce you speak of? I do not know how to make. Well, let me show you. So I've already separated four of the egg yolks from the egg whites. So I'm gonna show you how to do the last one right here. You're just gonna crack your egg and rip the top off like that. Put the cap down, put the egg yolk in your hand. Kind of push it right back into the shell and let the egg white drop. See that? as much egg white off as you can. You just put it right into your bowl with the rest of the egg yolks. Now from here, we're gonna put the egg yolks on top of our double broiler. So we got simmering water. Break them up with your whisk. And you're gonna whisk them over this heat, making sure you don't get them so hot that they start scrambling. What we're trying to do is actually make it thick. So this is what, how we cook the rawness out of the egg yolk. It takes a few minutes, but as you can see, I haven't stopped stirring and I will not stop stirring either. Because you want to make sure that everything's moving, it's getting thick, and it's not curdling up and like getting chunky, so to speak. So as you can see, they're getting nice and fluffy. Right about this thickness, we're gonna start adding our melted butter. So I'm gonna stick this back on like that. Now you're slowly gonna incorporate the butter into the egg yolks by consistently stirring. This is called the emulsification process. We're emulsifying the butter into the egg yolks making this delicious sauce as you can see it's already starting to get thicker and green because obviously it's our favorite color now you might not use all the butter and that's okay you just want to make sure you have enough we're also going to add a little bit of lemon juice to it that's a little bit more towards the end and we're also going to season. I feel like it's getting a little too warm over here. So I'm going to take it off and put it over here so I can still stir in the colder butter. See it's getting a little thick so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lemon. I'm just going to take half of it. And squeeze a little lemon juice into this. You can see it kind of thinned it back out. It's very nice that way. Now it's going to give it a little zest. So as you're going, still a little thick after the lemon juice, I'm just going to add a little water to it. Thinning it back out, see how it thinned out real quick like that? Make sure you stir though, because you don't want to break your sauce. Go ahead and check the bottom temperature, it's still warm enough that it's doing its job. Add a little more butter to it now. Look how nice that's looking. And this is going to be the sauce we put over our eggs. This is the hollandaise sauce, the eggs benedict. 
This is what made this dish famous. And now we're throwing our favorite thing into it. Weed. Who would have thunk? All right. Get a little bit more lemon juice in there. Add more can of butter. Still a little thick again, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Look at that gorgeous color, it's gonna pop on the plate. Against all the food, it's gonna look so good. Go ahead and add a little more butter. Oh, so sexy. This process is a little long and tedious, but I guarantee you it is worth all the effort. Getting a little thick again. A little thick still. So now that we're almost done with this, I'm just turning my flame up for my pan with the vinegar and water, get that simmering. Because we are almost done with the hardest part of this meal. A little more water. A little more can of butter. So you want it to be a little thinner than this, but I think this will be enough for what I'm working with today. I've diluted it with water a little bit, so let's add a little bit more zest. There we go. Good. It's about the right amount of lemon juice. Good looking. I actually want just a tad bit thicker than that. I'm gonna just add it and make it a little thin. There we go. So the finishing touch, we're gonna add some salt to taste whatever your preference is. And I like fresh cracked pepper. I think it's delicious. I like the black specks. Some people you wanna use white pepper, some people don't use pepper at all. That's a preference thing. I just really like pepper. All right, the emulsification process is complete. This is the hollandaise sauce you were looking for. All right, let's continue, we're almost done. From here, we gotta poach our eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack an egg into a little container just like this. And we have our water with vinegar in it. White vinegar is what I use. It helps the eggs cook. Just pour it right into the water like that. Now we're gonna wait for it to cook. As you can see, the whiteness of the egg on the outside cooks right away. Now we are waiting for the middle to completely solidify white and we're gonna know it's ready. And then when you bust it open, it's gonna be like a sunny side up egg so all the yolk will run down into your hollandaise sauce and create this very awesome flavor. So we're getting very close. Trying to make sure it's cooked all the way. And so while these are cooking, I have my English muffins, my ham, and my almost completely cooked potatoes in the oven, getting ready. And when I'm ready to pull that egg out, what I'm actually gonna do is I have a plate with a wet paper towel and I'm gonna stick that right onto there so that way when I'm plating, it's an easy transfer. So as you can see, the egg is starting to float now by itself. It'll stick to your pan, so when you start floating, you gotta start paying attention because it's almost time. I kind of move it around a little bit, checking it out. It's pretty close. You can kind of still see right through there, there's still a little runny yolk, so it's not quite done. If you notice, there's bubbles on the pan, just barely. 
but it's not actually boiling on the surface quite yet. You want to keep it at a simmer. This is almost the perfect temperature right here. I also like to use a slotted spoon like this. It's very delicate on the egg. The egg itself is delicate. This takes the water right out of the egg. See that? You just kind of scoop it up. Oh, as you can see, there's still a little runniness on the bottom of the spoon. See that? That's how you know it's not ready. So you just gently stick it back just like that. Almost there. All right, so it's ready. See how solid that is, how perfect that is. Still jiggly enough though, you know that it's runny. Just lay it on the plate. Set it down and we'll go ahead and finish however many eggs you have to do. Catch you in a second. Before we play it, I forgot to show you how to make the wax potatoes. So we got chopped up potatoes, already baked off, almost done. We got a hot pan here. We're gonna stick the potatoes in that you're gonna take your wax you're gonna hold it for a second want to make sure that we get these nice and crispy they're almost to where we need it again this is all organic wax isn't it beautiful it's good for cooking very good for cooking and it smokes like you would not believe so I'm just going to throw that whole dab right there on top of the potatoes. We're going to go ahead and let it start melting down. You can hear that sizzle a little. So I, what I like to do as it's sizzling, I kind of start Mixing it in through the potatoes. You can see it's starting to break down slowly because once you heat it up, it's going to turn into an oil and it's going to absorb. But you want to make sure that you're not getting it too, too hot. If you hear loud poppings from your oil, you know it's too hot. If you hear just a low simmer, you know you're doing it right. So you can see the sizzle's getting a little loud. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up off the heat. Just kind of move it around. Keep it going. Oh yeah, it's turning out nice. Look at that, you can totally see it melting down. Let's go ahead and aerate it a little bit, get it going. You can really see it coming out, look at that. It's really starting to... And that's just gonna melt right into your potatoes, all of them. That's why you gotta keep flipping them because as it melts, it's turning into an oil. So you want it to absorb into your potatoes. But you're using the heat to not only melt it, but still keep the potatoes crunchy, because nobody likes soggy potatoes. See, now you can see strands throughout the whole dish. We're almost there. Still got a nice big clump right there, so I'm going to take a potato and push that down, just like that. Kind of made it touch the bottom to make sure it was completely melting. You can see the oils getting on the pan when I flip it. See that? It's got a little green tint to it. So now that I have my English muffins and my ham, my eggs and my potatoes and hollandaise sauce done, it's time for plating. So from here, we're going to take our bread and put it on the plate like that. Take your ham, stick it on top. Take our delicate egg. How beautiful that is. I love the color scheme on this dish. Put that down. Now we're gonna go ahead and take our hollandaise sauce again. Pour it right on top of the egg. Like so. So here you have it. A THC infused eggs benedict with wax potatoes. Enjoy. Peace.